So I built this like five years ago. I did everything myself. There's a PDF online. I have the link below. But when I'm in Florida, this is where I live. It's really nice. <laughs> I love this thing. Got AC right here. That's the bedroom in the back with four windows. Those windows have been pushed from inside. So there's a frame here that's been welded, cut, welded. And then the window is just pushed against the L frame here and siliconed in. So it's been like that for five years and it's holding pretty well. So these are uh, patio door 10 feet wide by 8 high. So this is a high cube shipping container that's 9.5 feet high. And then it's holding on 4 blocks like this. So I got like about 1 by 1 here. That's the deck block. And then I have 2 treks and then uh, rubber. And it's just resting on that on 4 corners. And it's solid. This is sand on the ground. And again, it's been like that for five years. It hasn't moved. And here there's a ground to a steel rod. And inside here, there's 220 electricity. And there's fresh water and sewage. I'll show you. I have a Saniflo up flush toilet. And it grinds and it pushes uh, the waste, you know, over 100 feet to a septic tank. It, the septic tank could be higher than the container. And then here I have the drip line and external power. So this is the inside. Quite spacious. Workstation, computer development, software development. Big toolbox. This is for my sailing repairs and upgrade. All the sailing gear, that's the stuff area, tools, um, whiteboard of course. This is the electrical panel, so all the electric is here, power comes from the ground. I have remote Wi-Fi air conditioning control, and this is the air conditioning, it's a mini split Pioneer 18,000 BTU ceiling cassette and there's a pipe going in the ceiling all the way in the back into the outdoor unit mini kitchen everything a guy needs you don't need more than that got a little fridge coffee machine toaster microwave vanity area basically toiletry and stuff shower full shower with hot water of course little closet and this is a queen size bed it fits quite nicely there's like a foot and a half on each side if you can see here there's four bolts that goes right through and there's some bumpers rubber bumpers and that holds the ac unit outside and then here i have a little this lifts up and down you can store it very compact living area Same on the other side, little closet, the Saniflo up flush toilet. You have a privacy door here. Okay. And this is what I was talking about. There's a motor in this. So check out the big industrial noise. So that's the door. Quite minimalist, but that's how I like it. Everything there. If you want to read about all the details of how I built the shipping container, the insulation, the roofing, the you know all the setup of everything, the hot water heater, which by the way is uh, inline tankless, Eco Smart 11, I think. So below, I got a link to a PDF 
and to a medium website which explains everything with pictures and all the details of everything you want to know how this was built so uh, take a look and let me know what you think uh, sometimes you have to go on the roof to sweep and I used to use a ladder but I figured out there's another way to do this and it works pretty well you just climb the door like this and then you can sweep you can repair the ceiling works good